Hey guys, just coming to you with a few more ideas for uh, at home science. So here's some thoughts I had. We all know that if you take two objects and you drop them, they should the ground at the exact same time. We also know that it doesn't happen because of air resistance. So I was thinking, what if you do a, a project to see how much air resistance actually affects objects? So if you drop a book um, and time how long it takes to hit the ground and then drop a piece of paper, see how long it takes to hit the ground, crumble the paper up, um, just try different things and see if you can figure out a relationship between the amount of, amount of surface area right, or the weight of an object and see which one is greater, the surface area or the weight. So taking a bigger piece of cardboard, um, like a box and dropping it and then flattening the box out and dropping it. So you know you have the same weight, but now you have different surface area. Um, same thing with a paper, flat paper, fold it in half a couple times so you get different surface areas, but you're not changing the weight and see what happens. Uh, the book closed versus open. Just some ideas. Um, it might make a little bit of noise, might upset your, your parents, but uh, I'm just tell you, you're doing science. Uh, another idea uh, somebody had was the whole boiling water and freezing it. I don't, I get the idea that if you freeze boiling water, that it's going to, that it's going to freeze quicker because the molecules are spaced apart more. And I believe they've proven this on Mythbusters, but I was wondering if salt in the water would affect its freezing rate too. So if you boil salt water, will that freeze quick or will that not freeze quick? Right? So that's, that's the second thought I had. And then if you're in um, earth science, you can go out and dig up some rocks and look for, look for some fossils and try to identify them on the internet. That'd be an interesting fun thing to do um, not only find out what those fossils are but you can then figure out how old that rock is um, and probably most of those rocks are going to be 250 million years old or more so it's kind of cool to pick up a rock I'm like this thing is really old so that would be a fun project for earth science students and then another one might be just to go for a hike if you're allowed to if your parents give you permission to go to the woods or whatever and just try to uh, take pictures of different trees or insects and then try to identify them so you can start learning about what is what's out there in nature. Okay, have a great day.